I say let the world warm up. See what Boutros Boutros golly golly thinks about that. We'll grow oranges in Alaska. Dale, you giblet head. We live in Texas. It's already 110 in the summer, and if it gets one degree hotter, I'm gonna kick your ass. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. Uh, we are working on the NC Miata today, as we do on the weekends. We've got um, something that I've waited quite a while for because it came from overseas, ordered this from Japan. I've got uh, another thing actually coming from Japan that should be pretty cool, but that's not gonna be here until closer to October, which kind of stinks, but this at least came in and uh, we're gonna be installing it today. So in the past, way long ago, like one of the first videos I started making when I was like making regular content, was my um, my clutch pedal broke along with my master cylinder. And if you'll remember, the clutch pedal actually cracked. If I can find a clip, I'll put it here. So the metal has actually snapped off the mounting point, um, which explains the kind of pop that I heard when I was going to shift and when I couldn't shift anymore. But the brake master cylinder leaked onto the clutch pedal cracked the metal, deteriorated it, and it broke to where I couldn't engage the clutch anymore. And a lot of people um, have had it happen to them. I see it posted about online all the time um, on the Facebook groups and things like that. And luckily there is a company that makes a solution slash upgrade sort of thing for that. So we're doing some preventative maintenance here for the future. We're future proofing our clutch pedal and it should give it a little bit better of a feel. So in this bag right here, there's some instructions and some clutch pedal bracing brackets. So these are weld on clutch pedal brackets. They're from Neelex, Nylex, Japan. I, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I ordered these off of Rev9's website. They, uh, they source a lot of parts from Japan and sell them, and ship them over to the United States. It wasn't too expensive. It just took a while to get here as things do from overseas. But it comes with these instructions here. See, Neelex or Nylex. I can't, I can't pronounce it, but um, some pretty okay instructions. It's mostly in Japanese and translated into English. So we're gonna be following the photos mainly. These are weld in, so they come with the little holes and you weld into the holes onto your clutch pedal. Luckily I have a welder. I'm not the best welder, so don't judge me there, but we will cross that bridge when the time comes. Um, and they give you just three little parts to place around your clutch pedal in certain areas. Weld it on, throw a coat of paint on it, and we're gonna just be throwing it back in. The clutch pedal itself is really hard to film getting out. It's underneath the dash, you gotta contort your body, crawl underneath there. It's only like three nuts, three nuts and a, two nuts and a bolt, something like that. It's not hard to take out, but it's just kind of time consuming and um, yeah, you can't really film it. So we're gonna start this video off. I'm gonna get the clutch pedal out and then we'll look at where the brackets go. We'll weld it on, throw in our coat of paint, throw the clutch pedal back in, give some initial impressions on how it feels and That'll be the video. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you are new and this is the first video you're seeing, go down below, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content in the future. And let's get started. Right, here's our clutch pedal. And uh, no surprise, mine has actually already started to crack off. So that's kind of where it starts. You can see it's, it gets a little separated from there. And then it just kind of cracks the rest of the way down to that little spot weld. And then it uh, basically this whole part right here snaps off and when you push your clutch pedal, it just flexes away from the firewall and doesn't engage all the way. And you can tell it's just kind of a flimsy little metal. I mean, it's not anything too crazy. So that's where we're gonna be fixing. It's a really good thing that I decided to do this because that is a kind of disaster waiting to happen. Um, now we're gonna take our instructions and I'm going to clean this up, sand where we're gonna weld, and then we can start our welding process.
right, so our first little set of welds are done. We did the one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I did this corner up a little bit because I noticed the metal was kind of separating here, so that'll definitely help keep it, keep it on there. But, you know, they're not terrible. They're gonna be painted over anyways. There's just a lot of spatter with uh, this flux core welder, but all in all, not too bad. They're in there. Um, bracket's not coming off, so now I just need to do the top. But you kind of see how this is going. It's just helping uh, keep everything really, really uh, rigid, keeping all of the stamped parts that aren't connected directly in line. And yeah, so far so good. Pretty easy to do if you've got a welder. Um, luckily this project is fairly easy for me. So I'm gonna do the top welds and uh, get all the other welds done because you guys have seen this, so there's not really much else to look at, but I'll update you once we're done. Alrighty, and we've got all of our bracing welded on. Like I said, not the cleanest welds I blew through right there because this bottom metal is so thin. This is the part that people tend to have an issue with. So this will definitely sandwich it all in. Got this side done as well. All the tops are done. And then this little inside piece right here was pretty tough, but I kind of just globbed it on, did some booger welds. No one's gonna see it, except for you guys all watching this, but uh, it'll hold. It's very sturdy now and pretty confident that that crack isn't gonna spread any further and we won't be left on the side of the road ever. So all good stuff. Now we just gotta tape some of this stuff off, paint it, throw it back in the car. All right, maybe you'll be able to see, but clutch pedal's in. I just did uh, some metal primer just to cover it up, but there it is. She's all in, good to go. Feels sturdy, it's on there tight. So uh, we'll take it for a test drive to see if it actually does anything. But for now, I'm happy that this is going to definitely make my clutch pedal last a little bit longer than it was. I mean, you guys saw it was cracked already. So now we can wrap up. All right, and that is it. It's hot out here. It's uh, just hitting 100 now. Luckily, there's a tiny bit of a breeze and it's supposed to rain, but who really knows at this point. But the clutch is in. I uh, pumped the pedal a few times. Doesn't really feel any different, but the confidence personally knowing that it's not going to snap off on me is very good. I'm glad I did it. Um, just kind of skirted disaster here, knowing that the clutch pedal was already broken somewhat. And yeah, so definitely check it out. It is the Neelex Nilex. Uh, I'll put the name down in the description so you can search for it. Um, like I said earlier, I ordered it from Rev9. Um, and yeah, just simple brackets, weld them on if you can. I think they make an RX-7 bolt-on bracket, but I don't know too much about that. Um, I haven't done any research there, but this will work for now. Super excited. By the way, if you guys have made it to the end, it is about to be July. At the end of the month now um, is the Miata reunion in Alabama, and I'm going to be taking the red car to Alabama to go to Miata reunion in Alabama. So check it out if you haven't. If you're there, um, say hi if you see me. Um, otherwise, get yourself a ticket, make the trip. I'm a little nervous, but uh, yeah. The red car's driven to Alabama before, but I only had it for like two weeks when I did that, so I was pretty confident, but it's gone through a lot of changes since then. I'm gonna quit rambling and go inside and cool off. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.